Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is Country Crossing, or at least very close to Country Crossing. And uh, as you can see this abandoned plant is nearby. And this is where I decided to build a time train. Yes, an institute based time train. Because otherwise, how are, how are you supposed to do time traveling stuff in Fallout if you don't accompany that theme with the institute theme? It's just just not gonna work. And luckily there are items that allow me to add uh, train tracks out of nowhere and that was a pretty pretty decent way of achieving what I wanted to achieve which was like train tracks and then a train on top of those train tracks that goes into a wall and that wall is like a teleportation or like a time traveling wall. That was the general idea of uh, what I wanted to make or do and uh, in theory, I think I kind of succeeded, but of course, in practice, it just doesn't work, because that's not how Fallout 4 works. Although, maybe you could make it happen in Creation Kit, I'm not really sure. But either way, I uh, started building it, and you guys did mention that I should uh, place the builds that I do, the vehicles that I do, in, in some sort of like a themed, like themed areas. So it kind of fits, and that is why I decided to build this one uh, with the area and not just the train itself. So I wanted to make sure that the context is proper, and this is... Uh, I experienced a lot of uh, fence fuckery right here. I spent 20 minutes working on the fucking fence, because fences are shit. I wanted to make sure that it's straight and that it snaps, so it's not, you know, in the shitter. But it took so many tries to do it right. The left side was kinda fine. It it managed to work out very, very quickly. But the right side was a motherfucker. I had to do it a thousand times for it to work. But yeah, uh, so this is an institute vehicle. But it is, uh, it is... It has something to do with Jones. Our friend Jones, who has who has a truck and a bus. Now this train isn't his, but he can use it because this train belongs to the institute person who he helped, who gave him the bulletproof glass for his uh, bus. Yes, for his bus. Now, I know what you must be thinking. I also had some comments regarding that. Like, how is he... How, why is he working with someone from the institute if he still believes in the Brotherhood of Steel uh, principles and all that shit? Well, it's very, very simple. When he helped the dude from the Institute, he wanted to kill him as well. But then he spared him because the Institute dude is useful. Institute dude has things and he can build stuff. And that is always something that is useful. I'm gonna sneeze. I, I can feel it coming. But the Institute dude has useful things and that is why uh, he decided to keep him alive and keep him as a friend. So, this train belongs to that institute dude, but Jones can use it when he needs to go somewhere. That is the general idea behind the, the train. And uh, I kind of wanted to... I guess the train, when you travel through time or through space or, you know, travel, teleport somewhere else with the train, the idea is that the train kinda manifests itself again when you travel through because because once you travel through the through the wall and then if you travel back it's gonna be inversed you know it's gonna be reversed so you won't be able to travel back again so ideally what I decided to make up is the fact that as soon as you go with the th with the train through the wall the train kind of just builds itself again you know it, it's kind of like like those animations where things get built out of thin air that that kind of happens and the train itself gets built while the train that traveled in time uh, stays there for let's say 12 hours and then it disintegrates is that a good idea? Does that fit in the in, in the logic of the glorious lands of Petardia? I think that fits with the logic. I kind of like that logic. It, it makes me uh, makes me feel nice because I made it up just now. 
you know, I, I wasn't really sure how to, uh, what to do with the train once it travels, because it kind of doesn't make sense to just keep manifesting new trains every single time you travel, and then you have infinite time trains, and then the whole timeline goes to shit. That's not right, all right? That, that, that's wrong. That's, that's all just... It's bad. It sounds bad. So, I don't like that. So, the train itself disintegrates. But wait a second. How are you gonna... How are you gonna, how are you gonna come back if the train disintegrates? You gotta build it again. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a problem. So, the train can't disintegrate. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. So, if you travel... If you teleport, uh -huh. if you teleport with the train, you will, it will disintegrate because you are still going to be on the same timeline. But if you travel through time, then the train is going to stay, stay uh, as it is. And this is where it kind of had its shape already. Is that a, is that a good idea? If you travel through time, then it stays alive. But if you just teleport, then it disintegrates. Because it, al it already exists. So if it exists in the world, it will disintegrate. But if it doesn't exist in the world, if you travel into the past or into the future where the train got destroyed, then... Uh, then uh, it's not gonna. It's is it gonna descend? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I think I think you understand what I'm trying to say. So that is the logic behind behind the train, and I kind of kind of like it. You know, I really I like futuristic stuff. I like uh, I like uh, teleportation and time travel and shit like that. That is interesting to me, and I like that. So when it comes to the teleport wall or the the time wall we can call it the time wall i placed this uh, info glass wall and it's just kind of it seemed stupid and then i enlarged it of course i enlarged the motherfucker out of it and it became very very large and it actually fit fit into the wall design just right because i enlarged it by 3 times and the wall was 3 3 by 3 so if you enlarge it by 3 times and the wall is 3 by 3 then it's going to fit just right into the design now it did require a little bit of fuckery to align it properly to make sure that it uh, that it's kind of in line with the wall but eventually it uh, worked out and eventually it it was a, a very, very decent wall. So, what else can I say about the particular story here? I'm not, I'm not really sure. I didn't really think it too much through. Usually, you know, back when I was making the classic uh, Craftardia videos, I when I was building, I had a general idea of what the story would be. I didn't really know everything. And then when I was writing the script, then I actually thought of the entire story. You know, after I already built everything. That was my thought process. So, what I'm doing now is kinda... is kinda that. You know, with the previous uh, Craftardia Light videos, I didn't really do... do it properly, I guess? Or do it in the same style as the old Craftardia. But with this one, as you can see now, this is how it went, my thought process. I was looking at the recording and figuring out the actual story. Now, I was placing these Institute objects and uh, I was trying to make it institute while keeping the box cart design, so it kind of all blends together. But it just didn't... it wasn't working out all that well. I didn't really like it all that much. And these walls... See, these uh, bulletproof glass walls were also kind of odd, and that box cart railing thing was also kind of odd. Everything was kind of odd. I was, I spent a lot of t time trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do, and how exactly I wanted to place things. Because after you build a lot of institute things, you kind of get annoyed by it, but you still want to build more institute things. So. That was a little bit of a, a little bit of an annoying thing, 
when it comes to this build. I, I was very conflicted very often. You know, with the truck and with the bus, I kind of did everything very, very smoothly. You know, everything just one thing after another, it just happened. But here, I had trouble. But of course, I had to place rugs, and over here, the idea was to cover the ground with rugs to isolate it. Because the ground wasn't isolated, and when you travel with the train, that front cabin is kinda under most impact, and that's why the front cabin is different compared to the rest. The front cabin uh, suffers the most, because, you know, that's the, the, well, the front, and that breaks through time and space, kinda, literally, breaks through time and space. And that's why it has this very, very, very special fancy glass uh, material. And uh, these pipes, I kinda thought that the pipes would make sense, that it would look nice, and I kinda like it. Now, it would have been better if the pipes were white, but the only white pipes are those poles that are vertical, I, I didn't find horizontal white pipes, so... <laughs> Grey will have to do, or whatever that color is. And afterwards, I started placing some decorations and stuff. I also wanted to place uh, posters and stuff on the walls. But I, I spent a lot of time figuring out the... Both the design of the walls on the inside and the outside. And here... I had to place portals to Zimbabwe, because we have not seen portals to Zimbabwe in a very, very long time, and the, the, idea, the idea here was that the portals to Zimbabwe give power to the train. Because as we all know, the more portals to Zimbabwe you have, the more power you have. So three portals to Zimbabwe within one vehicle and with some technology will allow you to travel through time and space and go anywhere. Now, how do I know this? And how does the Institute guy know this? Well, it's probably something to do with Kevin Spacey. Probably something to do with him. We, I know that we haven't seen or, or heard him in a very, very long time, but I'm fairly confident that this Institute guy is working uh, with Kevin Spacey directly because Otherwise, uh, how can he know about portals to Zimbabwe? You can't... Nobody in Fallout 4 can possibly know about the portals to Zimbabwe. And especially placing rugs under them to enhance their power even more. Well, rugs technically uh, don't enhance the power. They just make, make it more focused, you know? With the support of the rugs, the power of the portals to Zimbabwe are... Is... <laughs> not R, is more focused. And in the back side I added this uh, institute symbol, just so it has some branding, I suppose. And then the fuckery, the fuckery started. I spent so much time on this shit. I tried to, I kinda didn't want it looking as it looks, because it was kinda too, too shitty, in a way. But then again, I did not want to add too much stuff on the outside, because if you add too much stuff on the outside, then when the train travels through time, I mean, it's logical to think that everything on the outside of the train is gonna get quite messed up, because the power is within, and anything that is within the train will travel through, while you know, the outer sides of the train, they will suffer every time. They will suffer more and more, and that's a problem, you know, because, you know, the train is gonna suffer and it's gonna deteriorate uh, after a while. So, my idea was to cover it with uh, institute walls and kinda make it more institute-y, but still allow the box cart or the train design, the orange shitty design to kind of be visible. So it kind of looks like it was first created and then uh, kind of enhanced using the Institute objects. That was the general idea. And once I placed the walls, I realized that they were white on the inside as well. And 
I kind of liked it, to be honest. I I liked it, but when I was when I kept looking at it, it just didn't seem right. It seemed wrong. I, I didn't like it. So after a while, I kind of stopped doing anything, and I kind of just thought about what the hell am I gonna do? Because that's what I usually do. I build a little and little, and then I stop building, and then I build a little bit more until uh, some form of inspiration comes back to me. And then I wanted to place things on top of the wall to kind of decorate it more because I just didn't like the the very very clean white design. And then I placed some fans and stuff, but that all comes back to the same thing. If the train travels through time, it shouldn't really be able to have things on the outer sides because traveling through time will just wreck that shit completely. You know? It seemed kind of wrong and stupid at the same time. But, I've, but I just uh, decided to start placing those things. And it kind of looked alright if you ask me. I kind of liked it in a way. But it still, it was too white. And then I considered placing posters. But again, same thing. If you travel through time, it makes no sense that the outer side is, uh, you know, decorated. Because traveling through time is gonna completely devastate all of that. And then I went through the items, I tried to find something that, that would, uh, that would make more sense than the current design. And I eventually found the, the things that are visible in the MDMA Towers build from a while ago, if you remember that build. I decided to place uh, things from that build, these walls that are basically light walls, and I also deleted all of the all of the walls that had windows, because it just I couldn't I couldn't make it look nice. But after a while, see, I was testing this, I was testing to see does it look good, and it kind of looked acceptable because the orange color, the orange light, kind of fit with the design of the box cart. You know the the orange design, and I kind of started liking it. It took a while to place these things because uh, the, you know, as as you always know, snapping is a little bastard, it's a little bitch bastard. But then I uh, deleted things one by one and replaced the walls, and it started looking pretty decent. It did take a while because you gotta go back and forth to place things but eventually the walls were placed and I think I think it looks better compared to the just white design because now it kind of looks futuristic in a way while it also has the box cart design the train design and it's kind of difficult to make a vehicle that is institute -y. And that it that looks kind of enhanced compared to the original standard version. It is quite difficult to do that, but I was pretty pleased with my design. Pretty pleased. The only problem was uh, the front side. I was I was still not satisfied with the front side. I tried experimenting with a couple of different uh, walls, but you can't really just keep stacking walls and hope for the best, that doesn't work. So I went in the front and started adding these railings, these weird railings, in hopes to maybe get inspired for a different kind of design and make something uh, different in the front. Because I just didn't like it, it just didn't really seem all that uh, well done. And then I started deleting stuff, because I was just... I wasn't, sa I wasn't satisfied. Not satisfied by this bullshit, so I kept deleting things and putting things back, and I I was determined to make sure that the front side had the institute walls with uh, with windows. I had to have that. That was a must. And then after a while, I realized that I can delete these railings, these box cart railings, and then keep the this uh, particular wall that has a window in the middle on all three three sides and then in the middle see it has it has it has had can you say has had 
had had has had I don't know Th this uh, this front window has the same design as as the teleport wall because you know that has to fit so it goes through and uh, it goes through I hope that's understandable and the side walls have also that that uh, blue info thing but it is a little bit different and I kind of messed up I placed the multi-story version instead of the the normal small version but once that was placed that was it and I was relatively pleased with the design and uh, I was already kind of done here I did want to place more paintings because paintings as you probably know already but you probably don't know that already because I have never mentioned that paintings give an artistic power to the to the portals to Zimbabwe now you might not know this but Zimbabwe as a country is very artistic they have a lot of death and a lot of corruption that is artistic you know and if you place paintings and different kinds of art in the room where the portals to Zimbabwe are they're gonna be even stronger so this particular train time train has so much power it can travel anywhere well it can travel to the past to any past but it can't really travel all the way in the future it can travel up to 300 years in the future it can't travel f further because traveling to the future is kind of difficult even for the gods you know I think that Kevin Spacey has figured out uh, some sort of a, a loop or some sort of a you know hack where he can uh, travel further and he refuses to share that with anyone but uh, you can't really travel far into the future but you can't travel far into the past so uh, that is why this design is as it is. Added a fusion reactor, of course, because fusion reactors are necessary, and uh, the advanced conduit, which immediately lit up the entire place. And I really like these uh, modern wall lights that are, you know, kind of spreading the light up and down. I kind of, it kind of looked nice. I think uh, it is quite appropriate. Pretty nice, yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. It's very simple, really. Very simple, not really a lot of uh, crazy decorations or, you know, crazy things, but uh, I think that it looks pretty good, and I kind of like the story behind it. You know, I was, I was building it more thinking about the context of it instead of the decorations of it. Because, like I said, when you're building institute stuff, it needs to be clean. It needs to have some sort of minimalism to it. And I think uh, I pretty much succeeded at kind of displaying this uh, time train as what it really is, which is simply a time train. You go here, you, you use it to travel, either through time or to teleport. That's its only purpose. You don't sleep here, you don't eat here, you don't shit here. You just go here to travel. And I think, uh, I think that is pretty, a pretty successful build of this particular thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is relatively simple, but I, th I like the design. I like the, the context of it. I like everything, uh, you know, how it looks and how it feels. So hopefully you guys like it too. Make sure to let me know what do you think about it. And let me know if you build anything similar. So thank you very much for watching, I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.